Hey YouTubers, it's me again. Don't mind that gasoline dripping out of there. It's we got it chipped up. Hey, we got another one. Um, this is MTD. Um, this one is a look, looks actually the body doesn't look too bad. It's got a few dents. That means that. Obviously, it hit something, hit a rock, whatever, and threw it up under there. The thing is so doggone filthy, but it was out on, uh, like, pasture land. So there's a lot of dirt. But generally, what's going to make this dirt stick on there is oil. Okay, so the good news and the bad news is there's a lot of crap stuck to this. But if you clean it off, look how clean that tank looks. Look how this, look how good this badging looks over here. Okay. Primer is sun baked in there. That's a given. Gas tank does have its little uh, cork seal in there. That gas is actually helping to clean this off a little bit. And then uh, I look down inside the carburetor. And if we can look down inside of there. It is actually pretty clean. So what I mean by clean is, is that for one, it wasn't just sucking a lot of dirt down in there, but they, they did have the filter on it. It can't breathe for, for nothing. It's just totally clogged, but, <clears throat> but there's no oil stuck down in the, in the bottom. So generally if there's a ring problem, it's gonna blow by here and it'll it'll always leave a little deposit down in there so that's a positive note uh, the same old usual over here in the carburetor the throttle area and stuff the springs are all jacked you got this up here like this what's going on with that but here's the funny part is that it's uh, I'm not sure about that governor. It seems a little flimsy inside of here. So we'll have to get the lid off and take a look at that. I'm not going to bore you guys after the last one that we just went through and everything. But just to give you an idea like what we're looking at. And I'm like, this one's a beast. It's going to go to power wash, pull the shroud, and then power wash again down inside. <clears throat> but down under here, it has got quite a bit of hay or hay string, whatever, all stuck on it. Um, it, it's not too bad, but sometimes they work their way up to that seal up there And then that'll end up ruining that seal. So we're gonna clean that off I'm willing to bet you any amount of money that this is the original blade It was a mulcher, but if you can see up here where my finger is all the wings are uh, They're just worn off because like normally I was like as the regular part of the mower blade goes straight through that piece is kicked up and so that catches all the sand all the debris and everything plus it does double duty when it's mulching you know grass that has dirt in it and stuff it just wears them down so probably gonna end up replacing that blade for sure we're gonna need a primer and a carb kit and uh, the only thing that really kind of makes me wonder what the heck is if you look up under here maybe the shadow helps or makes it worse this is all pristine clean in here. It's not dirty at all. So somebody, it's missing the pull starter, but somebody's been in here not too long ago. Um, nothing else, I got it for five bucks. I also got a home light weed eater with awesome compression. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to fix that. But like, I need this, I need this cable over here anyways. So I should be able to get that. That was worth the five bucks to me anyway. So there's a, nothing else. There's, new, there's another carburetor. There's another gas tank. Uh, that would be a head if I ever needed it, even the body. So again, it's gonna be worth something. The wheels are all in great shape. I can't believe that for being stuck out in the sun, but they're all good. Somebody messed with it. You can see this piece right here, how it's stays forward for the adjustment this one here this one over here is jacked all the way back and it doesn't seem to want to move so 
get some WD-40 on there and see if we can't help that out a little bit. So, but other than that, uh, I don't know. $50, $60 dollar more. We got a guy up in uh, Oracle looking for ex this exact kind of thing. So, we're going to get on it and then uh, we'll do the follow-up when she's running. I'm not going to bore you unless I come across something super interesting. I'm not going to bore you guys with it. So, got any questions, something that you actually want to see done, I got, I got nothing better to do than to help you out. You, you, want, you want to see how to pull a piston? I'll pull a piston. I don't care. So, all right, guys, leave a comment, and uh, we'll talk at you here in just a little bit. Bye.